Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was quite an interesting debate. Thank you very much to Gwendolyn and the entire panel. And I guess by listening to them, to them it seems like a DeFi future isn't so far after all. Leah, what do we have for the audience up next? Next, we have a keynote speech from the co-founder and COO of The Sandbox, Sebastian Bourget. A lot of you have been extremely excited for this, so please give a warm round of applause for Sebastian Bourget. Sebastian, right. please join us on stage. Thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I'm so excited to be here with you for my first time in Dubai. And I'd like to start my uh, presentation by just a quick question. How many of you are now familiar with NFTs? Please raise your hand. All right, that's good, almost everyone. How many of you are familiar with the metaverse? And understand what is the metaverse more precisely? All right, so fewer people in the audience. So we're going to explain today, and I will explain a little bit our approach of like how we are building the open NFT metaverse at the Sandbox. And before I do so, I'd like to start by showing you a teaser video from the Alpha Season 2 in Sandbox, which you can currently play live right now until March 31st enjoying more than 35 experiences, social hubs, games, more than 200 quests that you can complete. All kind of experiences where you can fight, you can explore, you can socialize with others, you can discover games made by the community that anyone can play. You can complete quests, and use those to earn rewards, such as NFTs and tokens, up to a thousand cents in this season two. You can also play with your NFTs, with, the, for the first time, the implementation of interoperability of NFTs in the metaverse. You can party with Blondish, listen to exclusive music. You can visit Snoop Dogg Mansion, and also play with your doggies' avatars. All right, this is pretty exciting, and uh, we'll uh, share more about uh, all of that today. But first of all, let me tell you more what is the sandbox. And to define what is the sandbox, I'd like to tell you more about our vision of the open metaverse. To us, the metaverse is this myriad of virtual worlds where you, as a user, through an avatar, a 3D representation of yourself, will be able to experience more social, more rich, more fun, more immersive experiences. At the beginning, there's literally nothing. So we believe the metaverse will be built 99% by you through user-generated content. And that's why we provide very accessible creation tools such as VoxEdit or 3D Editor and GameMaker or NoCode GameMaker, so just anyone can make content. But beyond user-generated content, we also bring IPs such as The Walking Dead, Adidas, Atari, Ubisoft, Warner Music Group, Snoop Dogg, and many more, so that we can bridge, bring culture and bridge between the physical world and the virtual world, allowing anyone to like, have their very first social interaction into the hubs of those brands, but also for the very first time, use NFTs from those brands and create their own games, their own stories, their own adventures, their own experience, publish them on their land, start monetizing them, and expand their presence in the metaverse. So through that avatar, you can participate into a new form of entertainment where you can own your digital asset, your identity, your currency. You can socialize, you can play, you can build together, you can meet other people, you can earn, and many more things. We build that over blockchain technology and contribute it to the ERC-1155 standards. And now that we can appreciate that NFTs are digital assets that can hold value, there can be services built on top of that, then we have access to a whole new digital economies with jobs, with decentralized finance, and ultimately with governance. 
What is a land? Some of you might have heard about virtual real estate, virtual land. In Sandbox, a land is simply a portion of the metaverse. It's like this digital space where you can use, uh, create content, publish it, and make it accessible to other users, starting to access monetization. But you can also just own the land and rent it, starting your new business model and earn a revenue where other creators will pay for it. And what's unique in Sandbox is we have this map of 166, 464 lands in total, which we've sold about 70% to date, so there will be still land to be sold in the future, and where anyone can put their very own logo to uh, reinforce the notion of ownership. This has led to the creation of this virtual neighborhood where anyone can become now the virtual neighbor of Ubisoft, of Snoop Dogg, etc., and start expanding the universe of their favorite brands. Um, since with your avatar, when you move from one land to another, when you move to the border of one land into another, you actually really cross through it. So it's not just a gallery of games or application, it's really an interconnected uh, virtual world where like your location does matter and uh, will define what content you can be found on it. We have brought over the past two to three years now more than 200 brands from gaming brands like Ubisoft, Atari, uh, Rabbids and many more. Uh, music artists, Snoop Dogg, Dead Mao, Steve Aoki, um, fashion brands, we have Adidas, we have Gucci with Gucci Vault as well as entertainment brand, family friendly, The Walking Dead, Pororo, Smurf, Care Bears, and many others to be uh, announced in the future. But more than brands, we also have like amazing uh, NFT communities who own land in Sandbox and are expanding their universe. The Board Ape, the Guttergat Gang, the World of Women, many of those collections I'm sure you're now getting familiar with. What is, in our opinion, the future of gaming? So the future of gaming, now that we've seen about all those different aspects, is a place where anyone can build, anyone can create their content, anyone can collect and own and monetize their content, and use those content to even participate into the governance of that virtual world, leading into the creation of new business models such as play to earn or play and earn now, as we're uh, renaming it meaning that anyone who gets involved into this virtual world should be able to be fully uh, rewarded for either the content they create or the time they spend, which is actually very valuable into the growth of the platform or the virtual world. And to us, it's really all about creativity and imagination. That's why we've built this series of tools that are free and accessible to anyone so that you can become a creator. Voxedit, the editor, where you can make 3D model in Voxel. Think of them just like digital Legos. The marketplace where you can already mint your content as NFT and start selling them. And we have a, a thousand of artists who publish content on the marketplace as well as our no-code game maker, which just allow anyone to drag and drop their assets, make games experience, without having to learn a new programming language. But as I mentioned before, it's also a virtual world. And there's a big difference in being a virtual world versus being any kind of game. It means that you are accessing all the experience through an avatar. You can create your avatar and be really whoever you want to be. That's something I believe is really strong in Web3. You get to choose your own identity, and that's really opening the door to like more equality, more fairness in the virtual world than in the physical world, because it doesn't matter where you're born, what are your social conditions, it just matters what you do in the world, what you contribute, and how you look and feel. So you can be any kind of avatar, you can be a human one and, and um, be designed, or you can start even involving your own NFTs and be like either Snoop Dogg, or what about even Snoop Dogg in Gucci? So this is a 1-1 one, one NFT, so there's one person in the world only that can look like, uh, by, can be uh, Snoop Dogg in Gucci. But going further, we believe that in the open metaverse, like we don't need to create the character in Sandbox. They can come from the overall NFT ecosystem, and we can play. We want to allow you to play with your own NFTs, displaying them, creating quests and other uh, gamified uh, environment around them, or essentially bringing them to life and turn them into 3D characters that you can then use to run, jump, fight, uh, socialize, dance with others. 
such as bringing this board app to life or bringing your World of Women collection, any of those 10,000 unique NFT can now be played right now um, as a character. And that is going to make the metaverse much more exciting as a place to be where you will meet avatars of any shape, any form, any community, which is making this space more inclusive, more diverse, etc. Going further, we want to unleash your imagination about the possibilities that are offered to you into the metaverse. So what kind of activities can be done already? Social apps, of course, NFT galleries where you can display your art and interact with it and, and probably buy and discover artists. Nightclubs, we have it already. Modern house, yes, people are buying virtual house, virtual boat, virtual yachts already in the metaverse and we have like very successful uh, builder studios and artists doing it. You can do fighting games, single player, multiplayer, parkour, obstacles, fashion shows, uh, adventure and leveraging quests and progression or uh, all kind of various emergent gameplay with uh, some, here some stuff made by uh, creators during our game jam competitions. Essentially, we would like the metaverse to become an extension of the real world experiences where your imagination, uh, where there's no limit to your imagination or beyond, and going beyond the laws of physics, whether it's in fashion and apparel, social and dating, shopping, video games, art museums, sport as well, and more. So the metaverse should always be about creating new opportunities for anyone. Any one of you should be able to think out of this uh, talk or after testing Sandbox that I can do something with this. I can become a creator, uh, such as an architect, a game designer, a fashion designer, a house designer. I can maybe launch my business as a virtual real estate agent, as a curator of NFTs, uh, as event organizer, as a coach, why not? I can even be a host, animate activities into a hub, but also I can be a player, and I don't need to be the best player in the world and only start earning a revenue through esports competition. Actually, just spending time and doing various activities uh, is a new way to earn a revenue uh, thanks to the play to earn business model. And we understand that all of that, all of this vision, all this open NFT metaverse we are building, we only succeed if we are able to grow a vibrant ecosystem where anyone who is involved can actually be successful as well. That's why we're supporting many creators around the world in Korea, in Hong Kong, in Vietnam, in France, in UK, in US. And we've been seeing, we've been supporting more than 55 studios to date. We have the Game Maker Fund, and we've saw, saw them, most of them grow from like being one, two people team to 10 people, 20 people over the course of the last six months. Last week, I met with the larger studio in the US, which is now 60 people, and they are building for the top brands and for some of the 20,000 unique landowners that are already owning land in Sandbox, which I think is really incredible when I think about it. So we've launched more initiatives than the Game Maker Fund or the Creator Fund. We also launched an accelerator program with Brink, where we support 100 startups as a first step and a $50 million uh, fund. We also uh, have given a grant to the World of Women Foundation to promote more diversity and inclusivity in Web3 for women with this 25 million grant over, 20, over five years. And we'll continue to support many studios as well. And we want to hear from you what more we can do to keep onboarding more and more people into the space and make sure that this disruption becomes the place, uh, the future of technology and is accessible to all. How, so here are some five of the key recommendations I would say to anyone who is interested into entering uh, the metaverse as a brand, as a creator, as a community. First of all, think of it like how do we give value to fans and loyal users rather than how do we extract value from them? That's new. Like in Web2, people try to monetize, people try to create like closed world garden economies. Here the idea is like to empower your community, to make them feel rewarded really through uh, their engagement, such as by giving them community access pass, access to private concert, NFT gateways, and even why not activation into physical, in the physical real world through NFT ownership. 
One of the examples we've done that is uh, Snoop Dogg. Typically, we've launched already his uh, mansion, his venue, the Snoop Dogg uh, collection of avatars, the Snoop Dogg uh, collection of car. So anyone who is a fan of Snoop can actually already play as Snoop, can visit his mansion, things that only a few of them will be able to do in the real world, and uh, be able to interact with other fans as well. The second tip I would like to give you all is like, how do you reward users for their contribution? Uh, through the play and earn model, empower players to monetize based on the time they spend in your experience through the form of NFT, through the same form of tokens that they can earn. And we launched this system called the Alpha Season, where uh, essentially, based on their engagements, they can actually complete quests on events that last about 20 to 30 days and claim rewards. So they come back day after day, they complete the quest, and the more engaged they are, the higher their rewards. You can try it all right, uh, already right now in the season two, which is live until March 31st. The second, uh, the third tip is like embracing the NFT culture. So if you're entering the space, do not just think about launching your content. Think like how you partner with existing um, communities and how even you embrace like, for example, um, integration, collaboration, etc. So the way we see the metaverse, it's almost like this picture. Like you should be able to let your community mix and remix content from all the other uh, communities already. So that it looks like this place as a huge mashup of IP, a huge mashup of content where you can attract and, and support various creators through uh, NFT ownership. Uh, Finally, let's encourage user-generated content. Let your fan mix, remix, create with your brand, your asset, your NFT. And as they do so, they will contribute to expand the universe of your community to bring more value effectively and also like learn new skills and, and contribute more. So every time there is a major IP, a major partner that comes into Sandbox, we run game jams. We reward them. Uh, we, everyone who participates actually gets rewarded and the top 10 gets extra price. We feature them officially even into the official land from the IPs. Some of those uh, game jam have been very successful and, and the teams behind those IPs have recognized the talent from uh, those creators, which are not professional, but might discover uh, well, like their next career opportunity. And that's my final recommendation here. Put creativity first. So think on like, how do we offer more immersive experience that's going to go beyond laws of physics, beyond your imagination, building much faster than in the physical world. Uh, how do you uh, empower a new format of uh, entertainment where users can create and own uh, their digital assets and how it's going to extend uh, your presence and their presence in the metaverse. So if you have any ID, any kind of ID, reach out to us. We support emergent gameplay, we support imagination, and we support that through our Game Maker Fund, which is um, still very active and I've been receiving, there's more than 70 projects right now. Things that you will not find on the traditional gaming platforms, the App Store, the Google Play Store, the Steam Store, but we think should have a place in the metaverse. And that's it for today. Uh, my recommendation, go create your avatar. Creating your avatar is really the first step to enter the metaverse and start interacting with others, seeing for yourself the possibilities. If you join Sandbox, you just download the client, it's all free, and the first thing you will see in the hub is getting exposed to all of that NFT culture, getting exposed for NFTs from various creators and artists that are not necessarily from Sandbox, but come from the overall ecosystem. And believe me, it will be some sort of a kind of experience. One more thing, we're hiring, we're growing fast at Sandbox, so if you feel like you want to contribute as well to building the future of decentralized virtual world, just go to careers.sandbox.game and we'll be uh, happy to talk. Thank you.